Hello everybody, it's Nusrat back again with another video on hack. Well, today we're going to talk about something really, really important that is going to change your life. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe below. And other than that, this channel is all about hacking, life hack, motivation hack, uh, fitness hack, ethical hack, manifestation hacks, and so much more. So before we, you know, before we go into all these details, let's get to the point. So today's video is all about hack and manifestation hack. So I have not been having trouble manifestation, my manifesting lately. Um, what I've seen is that for a certain time I used to manifest like on autopilot, like I knew I was manifesting but I didn't know the term manifestation existed or you know it just used to happen like I would just wish for something and I would just let it go and you know it would just happen and I was doing it well well at that time I used to call it God's gifts when I was a child actually it used to happen more when I was a child but I've kept the feeling for all these years and I was thinking oh these are these are God's gifts so when I want something I just give my you know give my request my prayer and then God somehow manages it for me but what that did was that you know um, I never really went too far like my subconscious mind had limits so I only thought that okay only this much is possible like you know if I was a kid and only a, a hundred bucks is possible for me and that's all I asked for and after doing you know after going through all the videos on my coaching on after listening to my teachers after watching videos by so many people like Aaron Dadi, Leo Alexandra, uh, Activation, Vibration, you know, Victor Odo, Patty, Matt Schaefer, um, there's so many. After watching all these videos, I got to realize that there is something called the Law of Attraction and there is something called Manifestation and it often is controlled by our subconscious mind. So when I got to know about it and that's when I began to, you know, I began to have bigger goals. I began to have a bigger vision. And I've seen that, you know, when I ask for $10, I would get $10. When I ask for 100 I would get 100 And why not ask for a million, right? Why not ask for a trillion? And sometimes that's where our mind kind of stops us because it believes that there's only a little, a certain limit we can ask for, we can achieve. Because all our life we've been taught that, you know, if you ask for too much, you're greedy. Uh, it's not good to ask for too much. And not until you feel worthy. You feel the worthiness that I deserve a hundred million dollars. I deserve ten million dollars. That's when you're going to feel worthy of it. That's when you're going to get it. If you're not, you know, if your manifestations are not working out, um, like for me, when I used to do it on autopilot, when I used to do it thinking it's got gifts, I never used to bother much. But when I learned about it at the beginning, it used to be a struggle because now it was something new to me. And when I started to do it, I was thinking all technical, you know, uh, write down this, do the vision board thing, do the goal setting and do the visualization. And it was technical and I was just holding on too much, you know, okay, is it? manifesting right now, it's going to manifest tomorrow, I was just too attached to it and not until I let go of the outcome, not until I got busy with other things, I got, I started dancing, you know, after wishing, after visualizing, I also started working on my goals, I also started taking massive action, that's when things started to roll. So if your manifestations are not working, then there are two things that are probably happening, is that either you're too much attached to your outcome, you know, when is it going to happen, how is it going to happen, why is it going to happen? You have to let go. Or you have some kind of limiting beliefs that's telling you that, you know, it's too much what you're asking for. It may not be possible. So you have to reverse it. You have to make yourself believe that it is possible, that it's not too much, that whatever it is, however it is, whoever it is, you deserve to be happy, you deserve love, you deserve to be special, you deserve to be treated specially. So that's my two cents on this. Um, I hope you find it helpful and if you do let me know in the videos comments below and other than that i want to see you in the next video take care this is the ciao